now analysis is now completed now we have to proceed for the design after checking off all the things uh, after the completion of analysis you know very well that now you need to go to design once you go to design in the last session we have seen that there are different options there are different sections for the design of different types of structural elements uh, steel structure composite structure uh, shear wall concrete slab everything is actually given here so as per your requirement you have to proceed with now go to concrete frame in concrete the first option you will be able to see view revise preferences once you click over this option view revise preferences you will have this dialog box some part of this dialog box we have covered in the last session as what does mean the design code multi response case number of interaction interaction code there was a brief discussion about this interaction diagram then there we also have seen that uh, when to consider the minimum eccentricity when not to consider the minimum eccentricity what your code is telling about the consideration of minimum eccentricity so that all things we covered in the last session i am not going to take all those things again yeah second thing that is what uh, we are talking about the concept of uh, uh, whether we need to consider the additional movement or not and what is the role of this additional movement how this additional movement will come to your structure or or or, or it is specific to beam it is spe specific to column it is specific to slab so we need to understand that so this consideration of additional movement it is specific to your column only yahan par jo aapko consider additional movement jo pooch raha hai actually ye column ke liye pooch raha hai whether you want to consider the additional movement or not so try to understand the concept of this additional movement so we will have to we, we have to come from back what is that try to understand there are two types of the column one is your one is your short column another one is your long column when you look at the page number 41 here it is given very simple in a simple way Forty one. It is a uh, if your effective length, effective length, not the general length. It is the effective length divided by overall section size as depth. Overall section size as depth. If this ratio is coming out to be more than, or or if L E Y effective length about the y direction divided by B. So if this ratio about depth and about width or any of these is coming out to be more than twelve. then you have to call it as long column and slender column and if it is coming out less than of 12 then we are we have to call it as what short column so when your column is coming out to be short column when your column is coming out to be short column so the basic movement the basic movement that is going to be imposed due to structural response okay there are three types of the movement uh, that is going to be imposes imposed over your structure over your column try to understand मूवमेंट ड्यू टू स्ट्रक्चर रिस्पॉन्स आपके कॉलम के ऊपर तीन तरीके के मूवमेंट आएंगे वट आर दोज वेरी फर्स्ट बेस्ड ऑन स्ट्रक्चरल रिस्पॉन्स फर्स्ट मूवमेंट सेकेंड मूवमेंट ड्यू टू इसेंट्रिसिटी सेकेंड मूवमेंट विल बी वॉट ड्यू टू इसेंट्रिसिटी एंड थर्ड मूवमेंट विल बी ड्यू टू वॉट लॉन्ग एंड शॉर्ट कॉलम इफेक्ट for short column no additional movement will be but if your column is going to become long column if your column going to if your column is going to become a cylinder column in that situation additional movement is there i am going to represent it by the ma so this three movement will be subjected to your column so due to structural response whatever the loading you are going to assign to over that and due to the uh, uh, behavior of the structure deformed shape of your structure your column is going to experience the movement so that is what the basic movement for, for every column there will be the basic movement and you have to consider that basic movement this is what eccentricity due to minimum eccentricity consideration you have to consider the minimum eccentricity so second type of the movement is going to be imposed to your column and third if your column is going to become long column then you have to consider this additional movement hello you all are with me or not yes sir okay so uh, like okay this is what the very simple eccentricity how you how you can calculate this movement very simple whatever uh, actual force is going to be act uh, multiplied by eccentricity so if your eccentricity if your eccentricity is within 20 mm if your eccentricity is what within 20 mm so uh, 
you need to consider at least this 20. So actual force multiplied by this 20, you will get a moment due to eccentricity. If you are getting the moment eccentricity more than of this 20 mm, more than of this 20 mm, like 30 mm, 40 mm, 50 mm. So for all those, you have to consider that uh, calculated eccentricity as 50. And here it is what P, whatever the value of the actual force, then you will get a, a moment due to eccentricity. Wait for a minute. Welcome you all in ISO certified life training program, ETAPS, RCDC and Excel that makes you a professional structural engineer. In this training program, you will learn everything about ETAPS and RCDC from basic to advanced, real life project of medium rise structure from architecture plan to final design sheet, real life project of high rise structure with all advanced topics, design of structural elements using advanced Excel sheets. Have a look over the features of this training. There is live classes conducted by expert for one and a half hour. Recording of every session with lifetime access can interact with expert anytime 24 by 7. Exposure to real practice. ISO certification of training completion. It's five star rated training program. Till now more than thousand participants have benefited from this training program. Now you are the next.